My favorite pizza place offers 10 different toppings to choose from. However, I'm only allowed to choose six without paying extra. How many different pizzas can I put together if I can choose the same topping multiple times? We can solve this problem using a combinatoric method called stars and bars, or ball and urn. We use this theorem when we need to find the number of ways we can sort k indistinguishable objects into n distinguishable bins. In our case, that's six topping spots to fill in, which represents k. So we have six topping spots, which I'm going to draw as seats, because we, only one can fit in each. However, the same topping can fit into one chair. So that means that there's six places and the six represents k. Now, the number of total topping to choose from, or 10, represents n. So to fill in my chairs, I can either have ham, ham, pineapple, pineapple, uh, olive, olive. I can have mushroom, bell pepper, onion, jalapeno, spinach, cheese, and tomato. I have multiple combinations to choose from. And in competitive math, I'm not going to sit there and list out every single one. That's where a theorem called stars and bars come in handy. And as we talked about, it's used in these situations. The formula is this n plus k minus 1, choose n minus 1, will result in the number of ways we can form, the number of ways we can fill in these chairs. We can fill in the, these chairs. So this would be n plus k minus 1, or 6 plus 10 minus 1, or 15. And n minus 1 is 10 minus 1, which is 9. So our answer would be 15 choose 9, which is 5,005. This is a really important formula to memorize and should go down as something that you would memorize before a test. So just keep this in mind.